Hello friends this one more video tutorial on Laravel and in this part we have discussed how to upload image file in Laravel framework with validation. If you are a beginner and you want learn how to upload file in Laravel then this video is for you. In this video we have described how to upload image in Laravel step by step from scratch. Because upload image is required feature for any web application. So we have make this video tutorial in which we will upload image file on form submit to server. Now let's start discussing this topic. So first we have to go to command prompt and here we have already run composer command and we have also come into directory in which we want to download Laravel framework. So for download Laravel we have write this command and press enter. This command will download Laravel in this directory with name like student crud. It will take some time for download. After successfully download of Laravel framework, now first we want to make controller for upload image, so in command prompt we have write this command. This command will make upload file controller, we will use this controller for upload image file to specified folder. Now we want to create one view file which we have already created for upload image form. Here we can see view upload.blade.php file under resources directory views folder. Under this file we have already included jQuery and bootstrap library. We will use functionality of both file under this page. First we want to make form for upload image so we have write form method is equal to post and encryption type is equal to multi part form data for upload file. Under this form first we have write open and close to curly bracket and between it we have CSR ref field function. We have used this function because we have post data to server. After this we have write input type is equal to file and attribute name is equal to select file, by using tag we can select file from our local computer. And lastly under this form we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name and value is equal to upload. By clicking on this button we can submit form data to server. Now we have go to upload file controller and when this controller load then we want to load upload.blade.php file. So, under this controller we have make index method, this method will be called if we have called user file controller. Under this method we have write return statement with view method and under this we have write upload which is file name of upload.blade.php file which load upload view file. Now we want to set root for this controller index method, so we have write root class with get method with two parameter like slash upload file and upload file controller at index. So when we have write base url slash upload file then it will call index method of upload file controller. Now we have check output in browser. Friends in browser we have already write base url slash upload file then it has been load upload.blade.php file on web page. So when we have click on upload button then it will send request to upload file controller. For this we have go to upload file controller. And here we have make function upload with request as argument. This method will receive file upload request received from upload.blade.php view file. Under this we have write dollar this with validate method with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar request variable.
and second argument we have write in array with key file tag name select file and in value we have write required image mimes jpf, png, gif and maximum 2 megabyte. Here we have use validate method for upload image file validation and first we have use required file validation. So we have not select file and click on submit button then it will display validation error. For check selected file is image or not we have use write this image. So when we have select other than image then it will display validation error on web page. Here we have also define image extension also, so if we have select image other than this extension then it will display validation error on web page. Lastly we have also set image file size validation also, so if image size more than 2 megabyte then it will display validation. If it will pass all this validation then it will proceed for upload and below it we have write dollar image variable is equal to dollar request with file method and under this we have write select file tag name select file. Here file method will retrieve a file from the request and store into dollar image variable. After this we have write dollar new name variable is equal to random function dot dollar image with get client original extension method. Here we have create new name for upload image and for this we have use random php function for make name and extension will be get from this get client original extension method. After this we have write dollar image variable with move method with two argument like public path method with images folder name and dollar new name variable. Here this move method will upload the selected file to a new location, in this method first argument like destination folder has been get from this public path method. This method will return path to the public folder of Laravel application and under that folder it will make images folder and new file name value get from dollar new name variable. After successfully upload of file now we want to redirect to same page with view uploaded file with success message. So we have write return statement with pack method. This method will redirect page to a previous location. After this we have add with method with two argument like success and image uploaded successfully message, by using this with method we have add some data into view file. This success message we have store in session get method and we can fetch this message by using session class get method. Same way we want to add image path also send, so we have write with method with two argument. In first argument we have write path and in second argument we have write dollar new name. Here we have store uploaded image name in session get method with name path and we will fetch this value at view file from session class. Now we want set path of this method, so in web.php file we have write root class with post method with two argument like slash upload file and upload file controller at upload. So when we have click on upload button then form data has been post so at that time we have send post request to upload file url which will called upload method of upload file controller. Now we have go to upload.blade.php file and here in form definition we have add action attribute is equal to open and close curly bracket and between it we have write url method with slash upload file. So when we have click on upload button then form will be submit to this url with post method and it will called upload method of upload file controller.
and that method will upload image and redirect to index method of this controller with uploaded image. Now we want to display validation error message here so we have write at the rate if directive with condition like count function with dollar error variable value greater than zero. For close this if block of code here we have write at the rate end diff statement. This condition will check if dollar error array has some value then it will execute this if block of code. Suppose above condition true then it will execute this block of code and under this we have write at the rate for each directive with dollar errors with all method as dollar error. By using this directive we can fetch error from this dollar error variable and display on web page and for close this directive we have write this at the rate end for each. Under this block we have write list tag and between this tag we have write to bracket and between this bracket we have write dollar error variable, it will print all validation error on this page. After this we want to display success message on web page, so we have write at the rate if with condition like slash session class with as method with success. This condition will check if this session class get method returns success then it will execute if block and it will display success message on web page. For display success message here we have write double bracket and between this we have write slash session class with get method with success return. It will display success message on web page. For display uploaded image here we have write image tag with source attribute is equal to images folder name. After this we have write open and close curly bracket and between it we have write session class with get method with path, this will return name of uploaded image. So our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page and now we have click on upload button. After click on upload we have received validation message like file is required because we have used required file validation. After this we have select world file and click on upload button, so now we have received error message like selected file must be an image. So now we have select one SVG image file and click on upload button, after click on upload button we have received validation message like only PNG, JPG and GIF image file allowed. Now we have again select one image file with size more than 2 megabyte, and click on upload button, after click on upload button we have received error message like image size should be less than 2 megabyte. Lastly we have select proper image file and click on upload button, after click on upload button we have received success message like image uploaded successfully. So this way we can upload image file in Laravel with validation, on the basis of our discussion we can conclude that upload of image file with validation in Laravel is quite easy. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, Please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.